beautiful Puerto Rico right now. And Mike is fleeing to now. So we're in San Juan, right Mike? And we're walking towards somewhere to get something to eat. We just found these. This art is called Infinite Remembrance to Dania Fela. It honors the first female mayor of San Juan, serving from 1946 to 1968. Inspired by her unique character and social work and community service she did during her four years of incumbency, it is a 5,000 square foot of ceramic tile over concrete commissioned by the municipality of Old San Juan. This project took a year to complete with a total of 300,000 tile pieces. During our stay in Puerto Rico, it rained literally every day. The Capitol, located in San Juan, is a striking neoclassical building that houses the island's legislative assembly. Completed in 1929, it stands as a symbol of Puerto Rican democracy and governance. The Capitol's grand architecture features a beautiful dome decorated with elegant columns and intricate carvings. Overlooking the Atlantic Ocean, the Capitol is not only a center of legislative activity, but also a historic landmark offering stunning views and cultural significance. Beyond its rich history, San Juan offers vibrant local markets, stunning beaches, and lively nightlife, making it a dynamic destination that showcases the best of Puerto Rican heritage in contemporary life. Old San Juan is the historic heart of Puerto Rico's capital. It is a vibrant district known for its colorful colonial architecture and cobblestone streets. So we are in southern part of San Juan. I tried to do some shopping looking for a mattress at the Ikea which is not even kept at this location. It's halfway across town to pick it up which we're not going to keep taking a bunch of Ubers. So being a $23 Uber ride to get here we decided to take the train which is actually right next to the Ikea and on further inspection realized that the train here is free. I've never been on a train before. This will be fun on its own. This will be the funnest part of our day. The next day, we took our scooters to see the city in a different perspective. Despite the crowds, the experience remains exhilarating when the cruise ships dock in Puerto Rico. Here, the island's gastronomy stands out with its rich, flavorful snacks like alcapurrias, empanadillas, chicharrones, and more. 
The blend of Spanish, African, and Taino influences create a culinary scene that's both unique and unforgettable. The music video Despacito was filmed in the vibrant La Parla neighborhood of San Juan, Puerto Rico. This picturesque area, with its colorful houses and stunning ocean views, gained international fame after the video's release in 2017. El Moro, in Puerto Rico, is not just a historic fortress, it's a giant playground with expansive lawns where visitors can enjoy breathtaking views and fly kites. The fort's massive walls and scenic backdrop make it a perfect spot for both historic buffs and families alike. San Juan's beaches are stunning, offering clear waters and lively atmospheres at spots like Candaro Beach and Isla Verde. During our visit, we also explored Paseo de Diago, a vibrant area in San Juan known for its street art, local shops, and cultural charm. What do you think about Paseo de Diego? It's really neat looking. It's just weird that it shut down. Yeah. There's nothing here. Like a lot of things in Puerto Rico. But I think we're barely at the beginning. So yeah. Even well, though it looked like the beginning. We went to Plaza de Mercado in San Juan and enjoyed a delicious lechion. Slow roasted pork was incredibly flavorful, making our visit a true taste of Puerto Rican culinary tradition. We really enjoyed our time in San Juan, Puerto Rico, savoring the vibrant culture, stunning beaches, and delicious local cuisine. Now it's time to continue our journey and explore what's next. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends, and we'll see you next week.